People in the city of Richmond are coming together to heal and find a place of peace following Tuesday's tragedy. 8 News reporter Cheyenne Pagan is joining us live tonight from Monroe Park with more about two vigils that took place there tonight. Cheyenne, good evening. Eric, that's right. I'm here in Monroe Park and I actually want to step out of the frame right now so you can see this memorial that is continuing to grow behind me here. Flowers and that RPS strong sign still sits right here. This is also near where two different churches gathered here during separate events tonight to pray for the community during this tragic time. Through the power of song. Psalm 29 says, ascribe to the Lord the glory to his name and prayer. Members of the youth with a Mission Richmond Church work to bring light into the city they say is filled with so much darkness right now. I mean, it's, it's hard to put it into words, you know what I mean? It's just like that feeling of your heart sinking like it should not be this way. At the vigil, organizers like Morgan Bogert encourage people to walk through Monroe Park in groups, praying for the victims of this tragedy. This is not how this person's life was supposed to, you know, this wasn't God's plan for their life. Members of Grace and Holy Trinity Church crossed the street to Monroe Park, holding lit candles, singing this little light of mine. World, hoping to promote healing within the community during a separate vigil. If we can fix this. Maybe not just Richmond, but our country can fix this, and I hope that it will. Susan Hankins attends Grace and Holy Trinity Church. It's right next door to the theater where the shooting happened, hitting too close to home. It was just such a shock. We walk by the theater every every Sunday, coming and going from services, and to think that something like that could happen at a high school graduation was just astonishing. That's why Hankin says it's important to uplift each other during such a devastating time for Richmond. It's exactly what we needed and the city we have a small representation of what we hope everyone will do is come together. Another prayer vigil is set to take place here in Monroe Park on Sunday at 4 p.m. Reporting live in Richmond, Cheyenne Pagan, 8 News.